The feds say they can spy on our cars, take pictures, and track exactly where we're going and how. And they want to expand the program throughout the United States. Thanks so much to you, the federal government, from the bottom of our hearts. This is all according to the reporting of the Wall Street Journal newspaper, which also reports the Justice Department has already has a database tracking millions of cars on major U.S. highways. The Drug Enforcement Administration started the program back in 2008. It's always about drug enforcement. They did it to monitor drug traffickers along the border with Mexico. And what did they do? They expanded, as the government tends to do. The database used license plate readers that collect data about cars' movements in real time. The program's high-tech cameras can reportedly take photos of drivers and passengers, and the images are apparently clear enough for investigators to identify suspects or innocents. The paper reports more and more law enforcement agencies are now using the DEA system and that investigators have tapped into the track, it tapped in to track suspects in cases that have nothing to do with drugs, like kidnappings and rapes. A Justice Department spokesperson tells Fox News the feds, quote, limit who can access the database and all of the license information is deleted after 90 days. Yeah. Isn't it? Let's bring in John Bussey, who's the associate editor of the Wall Street Journal, which broke the story in today's editions and at WSJ.com. They watch us everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And you look skeptical. Devlin Barrett is reporting on this in uh, today's journal. Mm -hmm. So what do we have? The DEA set this up to track uh, drug cases to try to get um, forfeiture of assets. Those people who were found guilty of a drug crime had to give over the cash, had to give over their cars, had to give over their homes. That expanded, just as you said, to include uh, searching for other crimes, kidnappings, uh, other types of, uh, uh, you know, searching for kids who have been kidnapped. Uh, that was appealing to local law enforcement officials. But the question is, how much is society going to give up its privacy in an effort to track crime and to bust criminals. Well, in the past, we let judges decide that sort of thing. Yeah, and that, and that system seemed to work. Yeah, that's, and that's a point that Devlin makes in the, in the article today, which is that the concern about this is that it was it kind of in a, uh, in, in a, a zone of secrecy, that this was not something that was sort of openly debated. Um, I suspect that you'll be able to go back and find where there was some debate that occurred. But it's not something that you and I knew about, though, if we're driving down I-95, and there's a lot of these cameras around now. It has expanded to a lot of the major interstates that we're being tracked, that it's reading our license plate. They know where we are, when we're going. If you've gone three times to the 7-Eleven to get some Cheetos, uh, you know, that, that's known. Uh, they would say, hey, wait a second. This is for serious crime. Let's get real. We need this in this uh, day and age of uh, high tech to be able to deploy that high tech to catch criminals. And they want to expand it to every nook and cranny of the, of the nation. Well, I don't think it's going to be down every street, but uh, look, if you're a law enforcement agent, you, you want to be able to use every device at your disposal. The question now is going to be, is the public going to say, that's okay. Look, I don't care if I'm going out to the Hamptons or if I'm driving down to Baltimore. It doesn't bother me if somebody tracks me. Or are they going to say, you know, I don't want to be tracked. Uh, it, it's one more intrusion into my privacy that I just don't like. Yeah, the, the idea behind it from the very beginning was you never know what kind of government you're going to end up having. And you might be very just fine with it with the kind of government we have right now. But once they have all of this, and by the way, Nothing is sacred. Nothing is secure. Ask Edward Snowden. Yeah, and I, I think that that's right. A lot of people feel that way, that this could be used, and it may be just the exact government that we have, but it might be a political party uh, uh, in office that raids an office in the Watergate uh, Hotel uh, or uses this in some sort of uh, malicious way. The other debate that's going on is this whole asset forfeiture, seizure, that whole thing uh, where uh, it's been done, arguably sometimes when the person has not yet been convicted, that is in itself a whole area of controversy. Now this tech is being used to forward that goal. Careful when you give away a little privacy. 